Hello everybody, welcome back to Sunday Berries. Today I am excited because we are going to be swatching Schmincke watercolors for the very first time. I got the SSA 30th Anniversary Edition, so I'm really excited. I also got a trial set of six five millimeter colors and also I purchased a paint gray bluish and a matter brown. So these uh, colors we will be doing in a second video. So for now I'm going to set these aside and we will concentrate on the 30th anniversary edition of Schmincke. And as you can see, it's still in the package. I got it like in May and have been waiting for this moment. <laughs> and um, quite patiently, as a matter of fact. And um, I am really, really interested in finding out about this color. So what I'm going to do, I have no idea what to expect inside. So let's go ahead and open it. And it comes with this wraparound and it tells you all the colors that it contains. And we will see that when we look at these colors, uh, when we swatch them. So the case is a little bit dented, but I'm not too picky or anything like that. It came from Sweden, so I'm sure it got its bumps. And you get your logo in there and two areas to swatch oh they come packaged uh two mixing areas and also a swatch card and it does feel quite soft but it's good to keep inside with the colors so you can remember what colors there are there so we're going to set this aside and what I'm going to do is open all these and save all these packages and start swatching. And I am really excited for the extra area for holding uh, half pans because I do have the other colors as I mentioned and I want to keep them all together. I know I will probably want a lot more of these colors and actually I do have another set from them but it's the super granulation set so I will be looking at that also in another video. So for now I'm going to pause the video, unwrap all the colors and get them ready for the swatching. I'll be right back. Okay so we're back. I've unwrapped everything and I must say that they come with the numbers. They have special numbers for their pigments so I can see all the numbers except for the Prussian blue that did not have any markings. They came beautifully packed. Love it. Just love it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start the swatch. As usual, I will be working with my Princeton Aqua Elite Round Number 8 brush and I will be doing a mass tone and a diluted version. And today, just like before, Lola is here and she's going to be snoring in the background, just so you know. <laughs> the first one up is Lemon Yellow and this is PY3. Uh, this pigment is semi-transparent, semi-staining, and it has, it is light fast. Here is our <laughs> here is our oh my god, Mastone version. Oh, wow. Wow. 
Wow. Oh my God, it is. Okay, I am a little bit uh, speechless at this point because this is so vibrant. It seems to be vibrating off the page. It is very delicate as well. And the color is absolutely stunning. It's absolutely stunning in our diluted version. Oh. My God, <laughs> it is breathtaking. It is absolutely breathtaking. This color is just beautiful absolutely beautiful wow the next one up is cadmium yellow light the pigment is py35 it has good light fastness it is semi-opaque staining and here is our mustone oh my god okay so Yes, this is, this is absolutely stunning, stunning. <laughs> oh my God. It's just gorgeous. It's, it's absolutely beautiful, brilliant, the brilliance here in these two colors alone and I'm, i haven't even looked at the others it's just very impressive our diluted version oh my god i think i'm gonna have to remind myself to breathe wow Wow, I can't wait to see them dry. This is already drying, but oh my God, it's beautiful. And I think this one could have gone lighter, but it's still, there's still a difference in value. So it's still very beautiful. And I am very obsessed at this point with the beginning of this uh, oh, swatch. It's just beautiful. The next one up is Cadmium Red Light. The pigment is PR108. And this one has good light fastness. It is opaque, semi-staining or semi-staining. And that's it. Let's go ahead and do our mass stone. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, it seriously looks like it's vibrating on the page. It seriously does. Like, it's very, very vivid and uh, vibrant. It vibrates. It's like it's shining up. <laughs> does that even make sense? Does that even make sense? It's that moment when it's wet that you you see it shining incredibly. And it's not like it's, I'm talking about a metallic shine. It's, this is completely different. I'm talking about the color vibrating. It's very impressive. And now for our diluted version. Oh my God, that's delicate. Wow, that is absolutely breathtaking. 
I have to wait until I see it dry, but this is so beautiful. I can only imagine if you're going into layers with this color or any of them actually, then the, as it intensifies, it's got to look absolutely breathtaking and stunning and everything you can imagine that I have no words for at the moment. It's like I'm completely speechless. The next one up is Permanent Carmine and this is PV19. It, it has good light fastness. It is semi-opaque semi and semi-staining. Mastone. Oh, wow. It's very smooth as well. It, it slides off your brush like no one's business. It's really beautiful. Diluted version. Oh, wow. This is just incredible. It's so, it's it, this feeling, it's almost like when I saw for the first time Daniel Smith. It's that kind of a feeling. It's very shocking to me to see colors so vibrant and so beautiful it's this one is very delicate too oh my god and they are drying beautifully let's continue the next one up is ultramarine finest the pigment is pb29 it has good light fastness it is semi-transparent and semi-staining. Semi Here is our mastone. Oh, wow. And yes, that's Lola behind me and oh my God. That is just vibrating off the page. And yes, that's Lola behind me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about Lola. She snores. <laughs> now let's take a look at our diluted version. Okay, it's almost as if you don't want it to stop, like you want to continue on and on and on. That is absolutely breathtaking. The next one up is Prussian Blue and the pigment is PB27. And it has good light fastness. It is semi-opaque and staining. Mastone. Oh. Prussian blue is possibly one of my favorite colors among the blues and I was so happy to find that this was included in the um, in the group and it is just gorgeous. Look at this. It almost seems to um, In its in its wet version, it almost like I'm I'm saying that it vibrates, and maybe that's not the correct term that I want to express at this moment. But it does seem like it shines. This is absolutely incredible, and um, I know a lot of you have used Schminka before. Please let me know if you have noticed what I'm trying to express here and have this same feeling every time you use it because that is quite amazing. Here's our 
diluted version. Oh my god. This is insane. Insane. I also want to say that they re wet like a dream. And the next one up is Thalo Green, and the pigment is PG, PG7. And Thalo Green has good light fastness, it is semi opaque and staining. Or semi. Why do I keep saying semi? Oh, wow. <laughs> God. Okay, so this is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And Thalo Greens have always been a color that I use for mixing even further. <laughs> and this is just gorgeous. And I'm not a fan of Thalo Green on its own. But, uh, wow, that is absolutely incredible. And our diluted version. Oh, my God. It's almost like a baby green, like a pastel green. And it's so... Ugh, delicious. Oh, God. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This is breathtaking so far. I am very impressed. I was not expecting to love these colors as much. I really wasn't. The next one up is Permanent Green Olive. And this is a two pigment color, PO62 and PG7. It has good light fastness. It is semi-opaque, semi-transparent. Semi and here is our mass tone. My God. It's, it's just breathtaking. It's mind-blowing what I'm seeing in front of my eyes right now. I knew that people love these colors, but I didn't know how real that was until now. Here's our diluted version. Oh my God. How delicate is that? Oh my God. It's beautiful, almost minty. And I'm sorry guys, I do have a cold going on and it, I can't seem to shake it off, but, so I'm a little bit nasal, but wow. I am very, very, shocked i wasn't expecting this i just wasn't the next one up is yellow ochre and that is py42 and yellow ochre it has very good light fastness it is semi-opaque it is staining What have I been saying all this time? I have to go back and tell you about that because <laughs> I do not remember what I've been saying, but I'm 
probably have been saying semi staying uh, semi I don't know what I've been saying. I've been so shocked. It's this is incredible. Look at this color. How smooth it's going onto the page. My god. Diluted version. Oh god. No. <laughs> okay. Schminka. You really are something. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is absolutely gorgeous. And what can I tell you? This is just giving me the chills. It's so good. Oh, they are driving me completely nuts because they are so beautiful so we are going to be looking at the english venetian red which is pr 101 this is you know that this pigment is something that i do not tend to like it's beautiful but i only like it as a mass stone it has very good light fastness. It is opaque. It is staining as well. So let's take a look at the mass stone. Oh, wow. Yes, that's the cat. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me so much of Daniel Smith and M. Graham. It's still a, a different, uh, there's a different tone to it. Very unique tones to each of these brands. I feel like Daniel Smith is a lot redder i feel that m gram is toastier and i think this sits right in between because it is very reddish and toasty at the same time and the wash wow Let's wait for this one to dry and we'll know whether or not it will be just like the others or this one will make a difference. It looks gorgeous right now. <laughs> and we're moving on to Sepia Brown. The pigments are PB15 colon 1. PBR7 and PBK9. It has good light fastness. It is semi opaque, semi staining. Let's take a look. Oh, this is very dark, but I can see the brown coming through. I'm looking forward to this. I usually get very um, disappointed with the sepias, but so far this is quite beautiful. Let's see. And here we go for our diluted version. Wow. Oh, God. It's very beautiful. Oh, yes. <laughs> Breathtaking. Breathtaking. My God. The next one up is Ivory Black. Pigment is PBK9. And this has very good light fastness. It 
is semi-opaque and semi-staining. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this is dark. Yet, it's not so terribly black. It's actually quite beautiful. I am actually looking forward to this diluted version. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. This is gorgeous. This is a beautiful, beautiful, um, diluted version. It's a beautiful gray. It is gorgeous. Oh my god. And the sepia, now that it's drying down, it's coming along. This is closer to what I think a sepia is, as a matter of fact. This, to me, this is a sepia. Love them. Love these colors. And we're moving on to transparent orange p071 this is one of the additional free colors that were included in this pack or in this set and this one it is light fast it is semi transparent and semi staining let's see Wow. This is almost like those yellows over there that were so vibrant. This is coming through so vibrant out of the page. It looks like everything is receding and this is coming out at you. It is gorgeous. I think for uh, mixing purposes, this is mind-blowing and diluted version wow <sighs> what can i tell you Completely breathtaking. I am actually shaking my head. The next one up is May Green. Pigments are PY151 and PG7. So it's a two pigment color. It has good light fastness. It is semi, semi-transparent and semi, oh God, the symbols are so difficult to remember. <laughs> it is semi-transparent and semi-staining. I think I've been messing up this semi-semi thing. Here's our Mastone. And this reminds me a lot of that green that we swatched with Sennelier. Very beautiful. It's beautiful. It's not my, my favorite, but it's really beautiful. Again, it's just like this orange, very vibrant, wants to jump out of the page. And we'll have to see when it dries, but... At least the yellows are still trying to jump off the page and this orange is just crazy as well. Diluted version. Oh my God. Wow. This is a very vivid color. Wow. And it's still diluted and it's still I'm speechless. I am sorry. It's just incredible. 
god and the last one of the three free ones that comes with the set it's gold and while i was uh re-wetting that pan it felt really good even though this is a metallic color and this one is a pearlescent pigment it is semi-opaque and semi-staining oh my god okay I hope you guys can see it. It's breathtaking. I, I, oh my God. By the way, this has a good light fastness as well. And the diluted version, look at this delicate gold. Oh my God. This is to die for whoa okay <laughs> oh my god okay um first off i am sure i messed up the semi-opaque semi-staining staining because the symbols that schminke has are very different from others and i just actually i think i messed up i have to listen to the whole video to know if i did it well or not so but in any case i'm going to be writing all the information for you the correct information <laughs> and um, that way if i made mistakes along the way they will be listed there in the information little card that I always place with each co each color because to be quite honest the symbols just completely threw me off but as I, that's just technical problems that has nothing to do with these colors these colors are amazing 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 I am completely surprised by the strong and brilliant vividness of these colors they vibrate there are some more muted than others of course but the vivid ones they seem to want to jump out of the page and when you look at something like this if you close your eyes for a second <laughs> and you think about a painting this is how you you see the colors you see some moving backwards some pushing forwards and these colors create that um uh, it's not an illusion, but that feeling of depth and and nearness. And even looking at this uh, little chart here, you can see that some colors recede and some come at you, and that is very impressive. I had I hadn't really thought about that while swatching colors until I have seen these colors together because I look at this and it just moves. Like some are backwards, some are pushing front, and it gives you that strong, strong feeling of depth. And I'm not talking about individual colors, I'm, I'm talking about the whole together. When you look at it, you see some recede and some come forward. And that was what I was trying to express when I was saying, oh my God, it feels like they are jumping off the page because it, they were so vibrant, especially when they were wet. Obviously, watercolors do uh, dry down a, like two shades down or two, two, two shades uh, under the first impression that you get. But these 
mastos are almost the same as they were applied and the same with the diluted versions. Of course, they dry down and you see, for example, you can see the residue of that edge right there that you can see how potent it could have been, but um, it's diluted, obviously. But, oh my God, how wonderful they are. And they remind me a lot of Daniel Smith. I I love Daniel Smith and Schminka is giving me that same feeling that I feel for Daniel Smith and I I thought that something like that was not going to happen I thought Daniel Smith would have actually I did think that Daniel Smith ruined every other brand for me but I see now that there are brands that are just as beautiful and I'm putting Schminka right there with Daniel Smith and of course this is a matter of taste everybody's going to think different and I've tried other watercolors and they are absolutely amazing as well but um what I am feeling most attracted to at this time are uh, Daniel Smith and Schminka now, and I cannot wait to see the others. But I do know Schminka has a reputation, a very, very good reputation to be probably the best watercolors that there, there is out there, or there are. And I don't know about that. I, I only know about how I feel when I see watercolors and that's all I can speak about. I would have to start painting and seeing a lot more how I feel with them when I'm working with them and also testing other colors because there are so many brands out there, so many really good names and big names that are absolutely incredible in terms of their reputation that until I get to those I wouldn't know but right now Schminka has blown my mind away just like Daniel Smith did and I, I do have so many other colors to go through with Daniel Smith and so many well not too many but I do have this six, seven, eight more colors plus the super granulation colors and I can't wait to see those. But right now with this little taste that I'm getting from Schminka, I am very impressed. It, they, they are very beautiful. I can understand the people that love Schminka so much, I can understand why. The same way I can understand people who love Daniel Smith so much because I can, I have seen it with my own eyes. That's it. I just I just think Schminka is everything people are saying about them. I haven't seen anyone say anything on the contrary. I feel that these colors are seriously amazing seriously amazing if you see any fault here it's probably because of me not because of the colors and I feel that if you haven't tried it you need to give this a chance and I do know they are quite uh, expensive they are but sometimes it's worth spending a little bit more on what you like and what's going to work for you rather than spending less money in other colors that in the long run it's not going to serve you as best as one from a very good brand. So that's what I think at least. <laughs> But I do feel like that. The gold in particular here 
is very impressive to me. I would like to see the whole line from Schminka at this point. It's the same as with uh, Daniel Smith. I would like to see the whole of it. And that's going to take time. Believe me, I I have to um, buy little by little. I, I have accumulated a few from each brand that I think I'm going to love. And, and some I have picked the ones that I think I'm going to like best. But uh, Schminka right now, it's sitting with Daniel Smith. I think Daniel Smith is still a little bit closer to my heart, probably because it's the first one that I <laughs> that I swatched. But this one is just as amazing. So I think I am going to be saving up for more Schminka colors. And we are going to be looking at more colors from Schminka very soon. So that's my review. Uh, you've heard me say everything about each one of these colors as I went along. So I think it's it, it would be repetitive of me to continue saying the same thing. But uh, like I said, the most impressive part that I have uh, felt during this swatch is how these colors move. And you would have to look at it as a whole to be able to see those colors come forward and those on the ones that recede. And that visual information is very impressive for me. And I am quite impressed. And obviously, uh, I hadn't wa I haven't swatched any metallic colors from for example, Daniel Smith, and I know he, they have uh, some pearlescent or iridescent colors that I would like to look at. And I haven't seen um, uh, metallics like this one in any other, except for Kuretake, which is Japanese uh, paint. And this is a light fast pearlescent pigment and that's very good because you do know that it's going to last and that's very important when selecting your colors as well so with that said my friends thank you so much for being here with me before i go i want to say thank you to all the subscribers and also thank you to everyone who has been watching the videos. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to continue watching uh, more content from me, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification button so you can get notified every time I release new content. I am looking forward to seeing what you have to say in the comments about Schminka Horodam watercolors. I cannot wait to read your opinions and thoughts about this brand. I'm really looking forward to that. So if you have any suggestions, color suggestions, your experience with Schminka, please, please, please leave me a comment below. And I just love to read your comments and I do my best to reply to each and every one of them so do feel free to leave me a comment and i will sure answer your comments so with that said it's time to say goodbye so please take care of yourselves please stay safe and i will see you on the next video until then bye <laughs>